How's your pain level, huh? Oh, it's about a seven or eight tonight. <laughs> you sure I can't give you something stronger? No, but thank you. I'll push through it. I always do, right? I'm here for another few hours. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Seriously. Good morning, my lady. Why am I sharing a room with a guy? Bed shortage. Fell and broke my hip like an old man. <laughs> Hope you don't mind being co-ed for a while. As long as you don't snore or early morning sing anymore, we'll get along just fine. Well, what about my ukulele? <laughs> Shut up. I played the ukulele in my high school band. No way. <laughs> We're a dying breed. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I had it confused with a mandolin when I first signed up for classes. It was an easy mistake to make. I mean, the mandolin has eight strings and the ukulele has, oh wait, only four. But to be fair, the mandolin has four strings too. They're just doubled up. You're certainly chipper first thing in the morning. I'm not used to it. Any time of day. What are you in for? Armed robbery, you? Oh, right, you broke your hip, old man. <laughs> Store a bank. Huh? Would you rob a store a bank? <laughs> so I'd make out with a mountain at Whistler. What kind of drugs do they have you on? I've been clean for six years, so none. Oh, uh, sorry. Sometimes I just speak without thinking. It's good for you. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy. Oh. What are you doing? Just testing out my handy dandy reach for grabber. Oh, so that's what they're called. You're weird, whoever you are. Lucas, my lady. I'm Jordan. Tell me something nice, Lucas. Uh, I'm tall, dark, and gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gay. What? Straight guys don't say gorgeous. It's cool. I've been fluid myself. And a Métis, a queer Indian. What do you have to say about that? It's politically incorrect. I like it. <laughs> Don't tell my fiancé. He doesn't know. That's your Métis? <laughs> this old man needs a nap. You were going to see him. Oh, my, my associates can take care of business. You, my love, are more important. <laughs> well, come on. I, I thought you'd be a little happier to see me. I even brought you flowers. <laughs> oh, come on. I feel like I canceled my trip to be here with you. This is a thanks I get? Please, Jack, keep your voice down. You'll disturb Lucas. Lucas, who? Up with the gimp over here. Come on. He, he's sleeping. It's fine. So, when are you coming home? Mm. Well, you're starting to pile up. I don't know. I guess I just should have been more careful on the stairs. Yeah, that was a senseless accident. But you'll be by his rain soon enough, and then we can get back to our life as we know it. You know, it's not like I'm enjoying myself on some yoga retreat. Time to check your vitals. Look, you, um, you get some rest, and I'll come back tomorrow when you're not so tired. Thanks for the flowers. Of course. And thank you so much for taking care of my girl. She, um, she's very special to me. Stethoscope. I'll be right back. <sighs> so 
That's Prince Charming. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm here if you want to talk. Mm. Not going anywhere. <laughs> can't really see out of the window, can you? Oh, and there's a gorgeous garden down there as well. Really lovely. It's going to be really miserable out there. Good thing you actually Mom. can't see out of Mom. the window. Where's Dad? I said a special prayer for you in Mass today, son. He hates hospitals. He hates me, Mom, for Christ's sake. Lucas, stop not making excuses the reason, for him. Lucas, you know your father and grandfather oh, were proud military true. men. They served this Wasn't country with honor. And, and he forced me to enlist. You, no matter what your circumstances. And I didn't quite measure up now, did I? Oh, Lucas, I keep praying. And how's that working out for you, Mom? I've been in the goddamn chair for four years, and you keep praying for what? I'm still a crippled faggot. Lucas, stop I it. I lost everything. My legs, my soulmate, my, my dreams. And for what? To please my father, and he won't even come visit me in the hospital. Look, I love you, Lucas. You are my son. God is merciful. And he loves you. But I can't change what's happened. I wish I could. I need to be alone. Please go. You need to talk. You should be tossing Jack away, not those flowers. Thank you. I was already awake. Oh. Tell me something nice. How did you really break your leg? I fell. I'm a good listener. I guess we're holding hands. Why do you stay with Jack? It's complicated. We're complicated. What did you mean about losing your legs? Uh, it's my third day in combat. Got shot. Third freaking day. In my whole life, I was a devoted Catholic. I went to mass, I served as an altar boy. I didn't smoke or do drugs, I was a good kid. A good person. Lucas, you are a good person. What happened with your partner? Couldn't handle new me. Mm. He tried, but to be fair, I don't blame him. Wasn't easy to be around. 
I guess you need a new dream. Well, I've always been fascinated by forensics. Why? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'll be sure not to leave my DNA lying around. Who knows what you'd do with it? Why don't you tell me something nice? I have a younger sister. She used to pull on my clothes all the time. <laughs> and I get so pissed off. Should have seen me teaching her to walk in heels. What a disaster. <laughs> she kept rolling her ankles, so I thought for sure she'd break one. She went missing five years ago. I'd stopped doing junk, went back to school, I got a good job. Social services, helping people. My mom was so proud of me when I got an education and a good career. She loves Jack. Charmed his way into her heart. Sorry about your sister. I miss her so much. We were getting clean together and then one day she just disappeared and my mom and I have been looking for her ever since. I just don't have it in me to disappoint her while she's still grieving my sister. Wow. Hmm. We really suck at telling nice stories. <laughs> used to sing that to us. Hey. You can make it on your own. You're a strong woman. You're smart. You're employed. You can make it on your own. Tired. Skinny latte, please. For sure. That's four twenty-five. Thank you. You're welcome. Jordan, would you like your receipt? Oh no, that's okay. Thank you, though. <laughs> Tell me something nice. Lucas. My lady. sleep. 
When I woke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and cried. I'll always love you and make you happy if you will only say the same. But if you Sunshine.